Japanese automaker Nissan is embroiled in another scandal over executive pay, this time involving the company's CEO, Hiroto Saikawa. Mr. Saikawa admitted to improperly receiving stock-related com compensation, but says he plans to return his, the proportion or the portion he had wrongfully received. Local media had reported Mr. Saikawa received tens of millions of yen, more than he should have, through a scheme designed by ousted chairman Carl Schoen. This is the latest scandal to hit Nissan coming after the arrest of former chairman Carlos Ghosn last November. Mr. Saikawa's admission today raises more questions about his ability to lead the company through a financial crisis as mounting costs and sluggish sales sap profit. It could also worsen the tensions in the automaking partnership between Nissan and Renault, its top shareholder. Sources say that Nissan will discuss disciplinary action about the issue at an upcoming board meeting. But Japanese media are reporting that Mr. Saikawa can face a trial for underreporting his remuneration. Meanwhile, the trial of Carlos Ghosn is reported to begin as early as March. Nissan shares closed today with almost 2% gain despite Today's reports of its CEO's financial misconduct.